There were some initial plans about planting a Lutheran church here in the Dominican Republic. And the vision from the very beginning was to create a very holistic, integrated ministry that would not only plant churches and not only found schools, but would also have intentional outreach to families experiencing intellectual and developmental disabilities. And so Bethesda became that part of the mission to support that part of the vision uh, in terms of disability ministry here in the Dominican Republic. Bethesda Lutheran Communities in the United States is an organization that enhances the lives of people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. So the relationship's grown as we've taken that vision together and uh, put together a ministry that included uh, reaching out to Konani and uh, getting their uh, approval and permission and support in removing six children from their care into our care and starting the group home. And uh, when we first arrived and visited Konani, all of the, the children there um, were in a basically a warehouse orphanage situation where uh, they were uh, in diapers, um, tied to their beds, and uh, many, many of the children there then are so palsied because of no movement and not being gotten up into um, uh, wheelchairs, and there just wasn't a much human touch or contact. And what we saw was, were a bunch of kids who just needed desperately human contact. So we brought them out as, as a demonstration uh, to Konani that life could be much fuller, much better for each and every one of those children. As, as Lutherans, we believe so strongly that, that not only is our salvation a gift from God, but even faith itself is a gift. Um, you know, Luther says in a small catechism, I cannot by my own reason or strength believe in Jesus Christ, my Lord, or come to Him. And so it's that core teaching that gives us this, this vision and this conviction and this passion for sharing the love of Jesus with kids with developmental disabilities because we know that all, all people, all people are precious in His sight. And we've watched these six kids not only become believers, but grow in their faith life and be fully integrated into the ministry life of the, the school and the church at Palma Riva. They are a living part of that living family of faith. And what a blessing that is.